The wait is over, and Tesla, once again, is here with its master stroke to take the market by storm. At the heart of any EV, there remains a great battery. The battery is the primary driving force of an EV. It makes the EV lighter or heavier, and costlier or cheaper as well. So if you can come up with an incredible battery or supercharger, the market is yours. On that note, Tesla is bringing its supercharger, the Oasis. But how great is it? Curious to know? So join us today as, in this episode, we are going to discuss the fact that Tesla's 100 stall supercharger, Oasis, shocked the entire EV industry. Tesla is developing a 100 boot supercharger station. The station will be the largest in the United States. The site is Barstow, California, in the Mojave Desert, roughly 185 miles outside of Los Angeles. It is 256 miles away from Las Vegas, Nevada. During a city council meeting in Barstow, Mayor Paul Courtney made the announcement. According to him, Tesla is months into building the supercharger station, which will get positioned near the outlets in Barstow, an outdoor shopping complex that spans four acres of desert. Mayor Courtney described the victory as historic for the community, noting that SCE has until May 30th to inject extra electricity into the new supercharged station. Actions and outcomes are self-evident. There was a possibility that we would not have enough power in Lenwood for the first phase of a Tesla charger before we went to the Southern California Association of Governments, SCAG conference, a week and a half ago. A hundred units got expected. Right here is the largest charging station in the United States. There is a chance you won't have enough electricity for step one. To cut a long story short, we received an obligation from Edison to have adequate power for phase one of the Tesla charging stations to operate on Memorial Day. These photographs were uploaded on Twitter by Marco P. Tesla in February. He went on to say that, based on the size of the lot, he estimated that there would be roughly 60 to 80 stalls. We now know that it is a 100 stall charging station. According to the Daily News, the current biggest charging station in the United States is a 70 stall facility at the outlets at Tejon in the San Joaquin Valley. Shenzhen, China, has the world's largest charging station for electric automobiles with 637 spaces. The 100-acre Tesla supercharger station will be built on four acres of desert between the Holiday Inn Express and Suites Barstow and the east barrier of I-15, according to the story. Vice President Harris has unveiled an EV charging action plan to help President Biden achieve his goal of constructing a nationwide network of 500,000 EV chargers. The U.S. Departments of Transportation and Energy have launched a joint office that will assist in the development of a nationwide network of electric car chargers. The two agencies also announced that the new National Electric Vehicle Infrastructure and EVI, initiative will provide roughly $5 billion over the next five years. It would be beneficial to our country and the adoption of electric vehicles. Tesla is a powerful ally in the effort to increase electric vehicle charging infrastructure. The 100-seat supercharger is undoubtedly only a modest component of Tesla's charging network expansion. I recall some of the complaints about the need to expand its supercharger network. The initiatives of Tesla, on the other hand, have established it as a pioneer in electric charging, and it plans to expand its network of non-Tesla electric vehicles in the future. Tesla started doing this in the Netherlands and recently expanded its trial program to eight European nations. Tesla has stated that the pilot program will get expanded to include other nations. At the moment, it starts small so that the corporation can assess the experience and keep track of traffic. Tesla is also considering input before expanding further. Before exposing its supercharger network to non-Tesla electric cars, Tesla must ensure that it can manage the capacity of not only its electric cars, but all electric automobiles. Tesla would have to grow its supercharger network much further for this to happen. That implies that there will be more stations. Tesla wants to build more supercharged stations in Baton Rouge, Ruston, Natchitoches, and New Orleans in Louisiana. Ruston, which is located on I-20 between Monroe and Shreveport, would be great for recharging if driving between Jackson, MS, and Shreveport, LA, is a vital location for a supercharger. Natchitoches, Louisiana, is a popular tourist site with stunning Christmas lights. A supercharger would make travel between southern and northern Louisiana more convenient. Tesla has deployed several destination chargers around the state. According to CNBC in 2017, Tesla would need to invest $8 billion in its supercharged network to make recharging a car as simple as filling a petrol tank. A UBS study got cited in the story. From today's vantage point, we can see that Tesla is more than capable of handling this. 
Tesla Incorporated pioneered this 480 volt direct current fast charging technology for electric vehicles. Six supercharger stations got launched on September 24, 2012 as part of the supercharger network. As of February 18, 2021, Tesla has approximately 30,000 superchargers in 2,564 locations throughout the world. In North America, there are 1,101 stations, 592 in Europe, and 498 in Asia Pacific. The stalls of superchargers include a connection that may deliver electrical power of up to 72 kilowatts, 150 kilowatts, or 250 kilowatts. The Tesla Model S was the first vehicle to be able to connect to the network, and it was followed by the Tesla Model X, Tesla Model 3, and Tesla Model Y. Some Tesla cars come with unlimited supercharging, whereas others come with a 100 to 400 kilowatt hour per year, a single 100 to 400 kilowatt hour credit, or monetary credit. Any charges got automatically charged to the Tesla account to which the car is linked. Charges got immediately invoiced to the credit card on file for that account if the account has no credit. Charges depend on the amount of power consumed. However, in some areas, this is not permitted. So, Tesla charges for the time spent charging, depending on the percentage of occupancy of the station. An idle fee may get imposed for staying plugged into the supercharger after charging is complete. Tesla has made attempts to direct supercharger usage toward longer routes. Tesla prohibited business, ride-hailing, taxi cabs, and government use of the public supercharger network in late 2017, demanding users pay on a per-use basis. Tesla also provides Tesla destination chargers, which got positioned in areas where a vehicle could stop for purposes other than charging, such as hotels, restaurants, and shopping malls. These chargers are slower than superchargers, usually 22 kilowatts, and are designed to charge automobiles over several hours, while the driver attends to other matters. As of September 2019, Tesla had delivered 23,963 destination chargers across the world. Tesla drivers, who are clients of the company in the area, get these charges for free. Up to 100 kilowatts of electricity is transferred between two automobiles in the original V1 and V2 Tesla supercharging stations. They take roughly 20 minutes to charge to 50%, 40 minutes to go to 80%, and 75 minutes to get to 100% on the original 85 kilowatt hour Model S. The charging stations bypass the internal charging power supply and deliver high power direct current DC charging power straight to the battery. Superchargers for the Tesla V3 can deliver up to 15 miles per minute, depending on the circumstances. A MW charge box can supply up to 250 kilowatts per stall and has a 575 kilowatt battery storage capacity. V3 stalls, unlike V1 and V2, do not share capacity and will provide 250 kilowatts of peak charging regardless of whether surrounding stalls got used. Tesla has expressed an interest in talking with other automakers about sharing the supercharger network. Tesla supercharger stations allow Tesla vehicles to be quickly charged and are found near restaurants, bathrooms, and other commercial locations. Tesla is in talks with the Swedish government about opening up the network to other electric vehicles. In 2016, the average number of Tesla vehicles per supercharger stall was 34, depending on the number of stalls and other factors. Cost estimates for each station range from $100,000 in 2013 to $270,000 in 2015. The equipment for the station is expected to last 12 years, according to Tesla. The majority of auto charging takes place either at home or at work, which Tesla has equated to mobile phone charging. In 2014, superchargers accounted for less than 10% of charging. In July 2019, Tesla provided 72 gigawatt hours through superchargers. Tesla owns the majority of supercharger stations, but others are held by fleet operators that use them to charge their Tesla vehicles, such as taxis. The stalling power of these chargers gets restricted to 60 kilowatts. Tesla updated its terms of service in December 2017, effectively banning any cars used as taxis or for business, rideshare, or government reasons from accessing superchargers. This prohibition is only in effect for automobiles purchased after December 15, 2017. For these vehicles, more charging options would be available. Tesla continues to develop its supercharging network with plans to ultimately open it up to non-Tesla EVs as well, as the DOE and DOT invest $5 billion in EV charging infrastructure. I believe we will see the impact of these investments and expansions in the next five years. So, do you think that this is a breakthrough for the EV industry? Can Oasis take the market by storm, beating all the competitors? Tell us in the comments.
Having said that, we have reached the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If so, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up, and it's high time for you to subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on to get all the updates on our work. See you soon. Until then, peace.